All right, moving on to the next fight, and this one comes from the Spawn One One Seven, who pits Captain America against the Lord, the new Fire Lord himself, Zuko. Now, let's talk a bit about Zuko. Zuko, as we all know, is one of the main characters of the Avatar universe. He is a master firebender. He he can he's also a master martial artist, as well as an excellent swordsman and pretty damn good at stealth. <laughs> as we remember from his days of the Blue Spirit. His main weapons of choice are the broadswords and, of course, his firebending. Uh, Zuko can manipulate fire that uh, from his either his hands, his feet, and even his mouth. Not only that, he's incredibly Zuko is incredibly intelligent. But herein lies the problem. Um, well, actually, no, it's not really a problem anymore, not at all. Zuko, in the past, was very headstrong, and that usually led to his own fault, was that he got a little too ahead of himself, and got a little too angry, and, that, and he lost his focus. However, in the, in the following years of Avatar The Last Airbender, he became, you know, very self-assured of himself, he became very calm, and a, even a more powerful firebender letting go, after letting go of his anger. Once his rage was gone, his fire became more powerful. Zuko, among other things, like I said, excellent swordsman. He can, um, he's kind of like a ninja in some cases. He's also, like I said, very. He has also got some some major uh, flexibility. So he's got some amazing agility as well as some stamina. He can t re remember. He took a whole thing of lightning to the chest. Now, granted, yeah, Katara managed to save him, but you know. Zuko can, you know, every. Let me bring this up about all the characters in Avatar, actually. The main thing with Avatar is that you see them fall from great heights, hit rocks, get hit with lightning. They've got some, ma you know, the people of Avatar have some major durability. I've been re watching some Avatar and past episodes of Korra, especially that fight between Korra and Zaheer, where she's getting thrown through buildings, not buildings, rock columns. Even in the Avatar state, that human body's definitely got to feel some pain. So I'm convinced that people, the world of the Avatar universe, have some major, uh, stand, you know, have some major durability. At least that's the theory I'm going on. But yeah, even when Z Azula hit him with her, with her lightning, uh, he still managed to survive for a while before Katara managed to heal him. So Zuko, even though he's young, is at the time of the, you know the uh, you know when he became Fire Lord, he was just 18. He's still a formidable opponent even on his own. So, let's uh, go to the verdict to see if Cap, you know if he can go one on one with the cap. So, uh, th th so this is going to be another uh, no kill fight for me. I don't think this will be another uh, this this won't be another kill uh, this will be another no kill fight like the Snake Eyes one. Um, now, this is this will probably be one of those I don't know you you don't know me kind of fights. Now, yeah, I can definitely see Cap Shield uh, protecting him from Zuko's fire. He's taken a lot worse than fire from, uh, that his shield has taken a lot worse than fire. I mean, laser blasts, tank blasts, a lot. So I think a little fire won't be able to, uh, hurt, you know, be able to break that shield. But, like I said, Zuko is incredibly fast. I mean, Cap's gonna have to, you know, move fast to keep with him, which he'll probably be able to do, uh, considering the super soldier serum. Not only that, even though, uh, you know, even though... Uh, Zuko has some, you know, Zuko has some major skills. He's still just human. He can. We've seen him get worn out in fights. We've seen him, you know, get worn out during some fights. We've seen him get tired. So yes, he can get tired. Cap, on the other hand, is not going to get tired. He's going to keep fighting. He's going to be, you know, he's going to be at the top of his, you know, he's going to be at his prime while Zuko's going to be, you know. Uh, Zuko's going to be trying his best to keep up with him, but Zuko could easily, you know, launch some fire that could easily throw Z um, Cap off, and Cap's going to be kind of like, okay, I'm fighting a kid, that's going to mess, Cap fighting, you know, a young kid is going to mess with his head, it's going to, you know, mess with him a little bit, so you have to take that into account that, you know, he's fighting, a, you know, he's fighting someone who's a young adult, that he's not really accustomed to that. It's kind of going back to what I said about, you know, the Spider-Man and Azula fight, where it's going to mess up, uh, it's going to might, it might break Spider-Man's concentration when he was fighting, if he's fighting Azula. It's kind of like the same thing here with uh, the Zuko-Captain America fight. That's going to get in, in Captain America's head, where he's like, I can't fight this guy, he's, he's still pretty young. I can't really, you know, attack this guy, um, 
without, you know, my, you know, I'm gonna feel pretty bad punching someone who's barely, you know, barely even 20 yet. So, you gotta take that into account that Cap isn't gonna be feeling all, you know, feeling up to, you know, going all out with him, again, the kind of going with the whole no-kill fight. And Zuko, like I said, he's pretty quick, too, so he might be able to keep pace with Cap for a while. He might be able to, uh, keep up with Cap as well, and those, uh, that fi his firebending skills are pretty powerful. I mean, Cap might get walk away with some burns. He might walk away from this fight with some burns in this matchup because if you see, you guys remember how powerful his fire was. Not talking when you know the Sol you know Sozin's comet came and amplifies everyone's fire bending. I was talking like uh, back to the you know the uh, the crossroads of destiny when he was pulling off those kind of fire bending skills uh, alongside Azula to fight Aang and Katara. Though, you know, those were some pretty power. That was some pretty powerful fire he was uh, throwing around. So no doubt, um, Cap's going to be in for an interesting treat when he, you know, when he uh, gets sees this huge wall of fire coming towards him. And yeah, <laughs> not only that, Zuko, like I said, is a master swordsman. Um, but those broadswords probably won't be able to break his shield. You know, break Cap's shield. So this is another really interesting matchup. But in the end. I'm gonna give this one to Cap. He's got the lo he's got much more. Ba he's a lot more battle experienced. He's he's got the uh, you know he's got the stamina and durability to keep going. You know he'll never get tired. Whereas Zuko, still even though he's kind, you can consider him superhuman thanks to his fire bending. He's still still only just human. He's still. Uh, he can still get tired, and we have seen him get tired in matchups. He can get smacked around a lot. But, you know, in the end, I think Zuko's going to be so exhausted that he can't really, you know, keep going in this fight. He's going to have to be like, okay, you win. And I kind of imagine Captain America, after the fight, just holding him down, pinning him down to the ground with his foot and being like, stay down, son. You really don't want to get up. Or, you know, I could see him also helping him up and be like, okay, let's talk, you know. I, <laughs> it's clear, you, you know, you're not, uh, you know, you're not the bad guy here. So, anyway... But you guys tell me, who do you guys think would win in this fight? Captain America or Z or Zuko? And once again, thank the Spawn 117 for this matchup. This fight came from him. And uh, yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.